Hi there, Kite people, and welcome to the second episode of the Kite Maintenance Series. As you can see, I'm shooting this outdoors and hopefully the wind will not ruin this recording. We'll give it a go, all right? A couple of days ago, I checked over my Cosmic TCs and for one of them, I found this quite significant bridle wear. So I will have to replace a bridle leg. And to replace a bridle leg, or maybe two, we will need some things. We will be needing a bridle line and a knife, some matches, a ruler, and of course a cup of coffee. All right, let's check out the kite, shall we? As you can see, this bridle leg is quite worn. The outer layer is completely gone and uh, it's about to snap actually. So this leg needs a replacement. That's what we're gonna do. First thing to do is to remove the leg and that's pretty easy because it's attached to the kite with a pigtail at the upper and the lower spreader connectors. Now let's remove the bridle leg from the upper connector. Like this. Then we do exactly the same but now at the lower connector. Finally, we remove the bridle leg entirely at the toe point, like this. And now, this bridle leg should be off. It's time to replace it. Now, I'll have to replicate this old bridle leg by using some new bridle line and the first thing to do is to make a loop like this at the end of the line All right. I'm using an overhand knot to create the loop when done, it should look something like this. Then I unwind quite a bit of bridle line and now I'm going to make the center loop. So I align these two ends Just about here, I will make the center loop. Like this. Checking the length, they must be equal they are not, so I have to adjust it. The new bridle leg was a little too long, so I need to shorten it a little. Aligning the loops. This time it looks good. You can see Loops are now the same, same length. 
Then the second part of the leg, the upper part, is now to be duplicated. Here's the middle aligning the loops and this one is the upper leg. So I will make the new line exactly the length of the old line. That's about here. Let's make a loop here and see what it's like. Pretty much right length. So now I can cut it using my knife. Like this. Here's the old and worn leg. And here's a brand new one. Looking good. Fifty-five centimeters. The old one and the new one. Fifty-five and a half. I need to do some minor adjustments to it. Recheck. Fifty-five centimeters. Now it's perfect. Back to the kite again, and now we're going to install the new bridle line. And we start with the toe point attachment. Both legs are equal in length, so it doesn't matter which way goes up or down. So we start by using this middle loop, using a lark set knot, put this line through. Tighten it all up, slide it down so it stops at this knot. I pick one of the legs and this is the upper leg that goes to the upper connector. Another lark set knot onto the pigtail. And there we go. Finally, for the lower leg, which goes down into the lower spreader connector on its pigtail, like that, and voila, we have replaced the bridle leg. Easy peasy! Ah, there is one thing remaining. Trimming the ends and using a match to seal them, prevent them from frying. Okay, now I have trimmed the loose ends and I'm about to seal them using this. I'm trying at least to seal the end of the lines so they won't fray. Like that. And don't forget to seal at both ends. Not setting your kite on fire. Yes, that's actually all there is to it. Now the kite is ready to fly again with a new bridle leg. However, I am going to change the same bridle leg on the other side of the kite as well for symmetry, you know. Symmetry is good. I hope you liked this uh, little video and if you like to see more of these videos, kite maintenance, why not subscribe to the Arialis Kites YouTube channel. Make sure to hit that bell icon too so you will be notified every time I upload another video. Until then, just wow!